Gator Bowl president Rick Catless, kind enough to join us on the Sunday Sports Zone. I know it's been a busy weekend for you. <laughs> you just got back from Atlanta in the SEC championship. First, why Georgia and Nebraska? Well, two great brands, two national brands. Obviously, Georgia's kind of king around this area next to Florida. And so we've had Florida, and now we get Georgia. Uh, and Nebraska came five years ago, and they brought 23,000 people. So that makes a lot of sense. You know, the big red tide rolls in here. So we're just excited about the two brands and national prominent teams, and uh, both of them eight and four. So we, we think we're really, we're really happy about it. Take me through the process for the viewers at home that don't know what goes into selecting these teams. <laughs> it's a it's a pretty long process and I'm sure overwhelming at times. It really is and it changes every week. So about the time you think you have it figured out on Monday morning, there's another weekend of games as there was here. As you notice, the, the national championship game is flipped around now. Ohio State's not in it. And it's kind of a domino effect all the way down. And so today, you know, we had some really good brands. We had South Carolina and, and uh, Texas A&M and LSU and all those brands on our board and I stayed in Atlanta to continue to talk to the SEC people as we were going around and trying to figure it all out um, and it's a it's a lot of work. You told me you wanted Georgia all along. Oh. A lot of people would say hey Johnny Manziel might be playing his last college football game of his career here. Why did you want Georgia? Why was Georgia so important? Was it the proximity to Jacksonville? Yeah we want a team that can drive. We want a team that will drive their fans in. Georgia certainly can do that. Uh, second largest Bulldog club here in Jacksonville next to Atlanta. Um, so for a lot of reasons we wanted Georgia. Um, sorry that Aaron Murray's not going to be here, but you're going to see Georgia's team next year. All these kids are young, new quarterback, he'll be the starter next year, so you'll get a chance to see that. Nebraska on the other side, you know, obviously a great TV name. This is the last year of the BCS goes away, looking at a playoff format, a four-team playoff format come next year. Right. In your mind, is it good for college football? Not at all. It'll be a catastrophe. It's easier to pick two teams, and, and if you notice now, it's pretty consensus that, that Auburn should be in the game and that Florida State certainly deserves to be in the game. What about the one-loss teams that are behind them? What about Missouri? What about all these other teams that you could go and pick? And the reality is they're going to take champions, and there might be a team that's, that's third in the country in the polls that may not get in, and that's going to be very controversial. So four teams, what if we moved it to eight teams? Would that solve things? I think eight teams probably solves it. Uh, I'm not sure that they're going to go there anytime soon. Um, quite frankly, if you look at the BCS, and as much as everybody hated the BCS, it was right most of the time. Um, so, you know, you kind of look at it both ways. Uh, being a bowl guy, you probably look at it that you'd like to see the bowls be more prominent in the, in the process than, than it really is. But it gives Jacksonville an opportunity to host a national championship game someday. I was going to ask, how much does it affect the Gator Bowl, this moving to the playoff format? It actually doesn't. We moved up in our pecking order. We knew we were going to do that anyway because we, we, we got in at a low level with money and we had the money to, to move up. Uh, we moved up two picks in the SEC and we're kind of in a pool there. We got what we wanted with ACC and, and Big Ten shared pick and now we've got another shot at Notre Dame. So we're, we're back to where we want to be. All right, let's look at Jacksonville and potentially hosting a national championship. What would that mean to you? You've done so much for this city on the sports front. What would it mean to see Jacksonville front and center hosting a national championship? I think second only to being awarded the franchise. Um, you'd probably throw the Super Bowl in there too, um, but, but I think it's next to those, those two, probably the biggest things that have ever happened for Jacksonville. And quite frankly, Michael Kelly, um, <laughs> Michael Kelly, uh, is, uh, ran <laughs> the our... The more important Michael yeah, Kelly. Well, yeah. That ran our Super Bowl. He's um, he's in line to uh, make the decision or help make the decision, and he understands Jacksonville. So I'm not telling him about the river. I'm not telling him about you know Amelia Island and, and uh, Ponte Vedra Beach. So that helps a lot. I would tell you in the next five years we'll host a national championship game here. Wow, what a great thing that would be for the city. Georgia, Nebraska, the Gator Bowl. Rick Catley, we appreciate the time here on the Thanks, Sunday Michael. Sports. So best of luck on New Year's Day. Thank you very much.